This is the magnificent coastline of Roebuck Bay in Broome, Western Australia. It's beneath these waters that the perfect conditions are created for one of Australia's most prized ocean gems, the Pearl. Now given the natural wealth in this region, by the early 1900s, Broome had become the pearling centre of the world and at one stage it was one of the richest coastal towns in Australia. But a lot has changed over the years and what was once a thriving industry has since suffered many setbacks. At present, the Australian South Sea pearl industry is estimated to be worth around $150 million. That's around half of what it was at its peak in 2009. The once booming industry was hit by a mystery oyster disease, the ravages of the global financial crisis and competition from China. For example, a necklace of 55 Chinese freshwater pearls was listed on eBay for $2.79. Compare that to Australian South Sea pearls that can fetch up to $30,000 each at wholesale prices. In the centre of Broome, I met up with James Brown, a third generation pearl farmer who runs Signet Bay Pearls. Come in. Signet Bay Pearls, like some of their competitors, have adopted a paddock to plate model, or in this case, a shell to showroom scenario. In their retail showroom in Broome's town centre, James shows me how they provide an educational and interactive experience for those consumers who can't get to the farm. Is that the pearl right there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that looks beautiful. Well, I wish. <laughs> Look, to the untrained eye, exactly. this experience itself is, is pretty spectacular. Yeah. It not, might not be $100,000 worth of pearl, but... Approximately 25% of the seeded oysters will not have a pearl in it, and of the remaining 75%, Fewer than half the pearls may be saleable. But for the ones that do hit the market, converting this highly customised shopping experience into a sale is critical in helping the pearl industry get back its luster. Delarani, ABC News, Broome.